What's up guys, I'm here with uh, two controllers, I got the Nyko Playpad Pro and the Sony PlayStation 3 um, 6 axis controller and I'm going to just quickly show you a little bit about each controller and kind of compare the two. Um, this right now is one of the top of the line, I guess, Bluetooth gamepads. So uh, if you're looking to just buy one for an Android device, that would be this one. If you're looking to I guess just make one out of something you already have, you could easily just use this little Bluetooth controller. If you, Even if your um, phone does not have a direct USB connection, you could still, you know, connect it through other ways, um, which I will show you in another video to sync a PS3 controller to your phone. So here I have my Galaxy S3, and I'm going to first show you the Nyko Playbook. It's very simple to set up. Um, as opposed to the PlayStation 3 controller, because for the PlayStation 3 controller to get full, I guess, control of everything you want, you're going to need to root it. So I'm just going to quickly go to my system settings, turn on Bluetooth, and here we go. Turn on the controller by holding there, and Nyko Playpad. Got to quickly connect, and there we go. Now, just quickly. Need to actually switch the uh, input method for Nico Playpad. Okay, there we go. And Let me just do that one more time. You know, I accidentally picked up my tablet, which is a few feet away, and uh, kind of screwed that up. And then we're ready to go. So, just a quick demo of what this thing can do. I will bring up a game. Um, my little dead trigger. I believe I still have that installed on here. Mm, okay. This is a game that has natural gamepad support. If it does, then this thing is fine for it. If it doesn't, that's why we end this video. As far as the actual quality goes of this thing, I do like the soft touch feel. It's uh, very nice to actually just kind of have. Um, there we go. Just to show you, I do have the gamepad all set up. I believe I used this one last time. Okay. And let's just try playing. Oh wow. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, I think that's a glitch with one of the newer updates. I've never played this game since like two or three updates. Um, let's see. As you can see, as far as the controls and everything work, it actually responds pretty perfectly. I set it up so right triggers fire, this is to aim, and uh, it actually makes dead trigger 
like a hundred times easier. It always used to be like the hardest part of this game was um the control scheme, but as you can see, it works pretty perfectly. I really like the joysticks. Um, that's my one complaint really with the PlayStation controller that I always hated. The joysticks just I hate the, how they uh, the mushroom tops so they like fall out and stuff like that. I don't know if they still have the clutch, but whatever, you get the point. So that's the Nyko Playpad in a nutshell. Now I'm going to just quickly turn it off and show you a little bit more with the PlayStation controller. With the PlayStation controller, what I do is I have to use a different app known as Six Axis Controller. Um, I use this because it allows you to use touch mapping profiles so it can work with not just games with Game Pass support, but any single game. So, uh, here's a 6-axis controller app. Press start, and turn on the controller. You'll see it blink, and uh, go solid. Okay, so once you actually have everything set up, it's actually really easy to use this controller. Um, as you can see, I now my Modern Combat 3 touch profile, but I don't feel like playing that, so we'll do some Need for Speed Most Wanted. And, yep. Now we're going to play some uh, Need for Speed. What is this? Okay, whatever. Um, let's play some Need for Speed. Maybe under M for most wanted. Uh, uh, oh, oh, NFS. Okay. You have to excuse the fact that I just a ridiculous amount of uh, apps. So now I've already set up the touch profiles and everything to work with this controller. So everything actually just works how I would want it. A little bit louder. And um, I've set this up with Modern Combat 3, uh, Minecraft Pocket Edition. Most games work um, like very well. So now I'm just going to quickly just jump in a race here. Okay. Now, it already has the gas automatically, so I don't have to fix that, but I made this one to steer, and uh, this one over here basically has the touch profiles for the uh, drifting and nitrous and stuff, so as you can see, like this, and the steer, does the tilt to steer method, tapping it up, nitrous. You can see like the wheel moving on the uh, control, I mean the uh, system. It makes things much easier than uh, touch controls. And that's for a lot better precision. And excuse me if uh, I kind of suck right now. I am playing through the camera. Like that. And there's your brake. Start actually does pause it, which is cool. And uh, just a quick zoom. And let's see. I forget if I made any other buttons do anything. Alright, so yeah, you guys get the point. See how it can drift without having to do the quick jerk like they have you normally do. What I do is I just tap this way. 
Let the drift. Okay. So now you guys get the point. Um, what I think is that the um, PlayStation 3 controller is actually a little bit better. I actually don't like the controller as much just because I've always hated the feel for a PlayStation controller. But just the fact that the compatibility is there, I really like. Supposedly, Nyko is going to be making an update on their app. They have an app which allows you to set profiles for certain games. As of now, it is actually pretty much 100% useless. Um, it's really only purpose is to change control schemes to a game. Um, so like if you don't like the way they originally set up the controls, you can change them. Um, but that's pretty much it. If you want to actually like use the touch profiles like I have on this one to like emulate the touch screen being touched, you need this or you could try and wait till they make the update for the night go. I will definitely be making a video as soon as I do make an update. Um, so you guys can, I guess, look out for that. And um, as far as other games, the Nyko works with emulators and anything where you can like manually set things like that. But most games, like suppose I want to play Modern Combat 3, can't do it with the Nyko PlayPad. Um, you can do it with this, however, setting it with touch profiles. You can do it either through the 6-axis controller app or USB Joy and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, so if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave in the comments below. Um, like I said, though, uh, they will cost you about the same in the store. This actually, I got this used PlayStation 3 controller for 40 bucks. Got this for 40 bucks, um, both from GameStop. And I gotta say, I use this one a lot more, even though it's like crappy and whatnot. Just because I can use it when I'm playing Modern Combat and stuff like that. And instead of having to map, like, any sort of game to, like, the buttons, you can actually just map the touch profile to it, and it actually works a lot better in most cases. So, anyway, um, like I said, any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below, and um, I will get back to you as soon as I can. And check out my other videos, guys, because I got some great stuff in there. And I will see you guys in the next one.